hello guys how are you all so i have come to the rail station now i am going to london city university today and why i am going what is the reason what i will do there i will show you in this video so stay tuned guys so it will take 45 minutes for me to reach to farrington rail station from my rail station This station is London Blackfriars and wait a second you will see one very nice thing shortly. So here is the famous London Tower Bridge you can see from here. We need to zoom it a bit but you can still see the iconic London Tower Bridge. So I have come to the Farrington station from here 15 minutes of walk to London City University really cold out here i need to wear my cap for that really cold still walking to reach to city university and see what i found on the way the filmy telephone booth i don't know the phone inside it is working or not but this red color phone booth really gives us nostalgia here is the college building of City University. It does have a few buildings. And this one is the college building. This is the another building of City University. Which is established on 1984. And it is almost 125 years old. So I have reached to my city university. This is the Drysdale building. And in this building only my class. And my class will start from 9 o'clock. And it's 8 o'clock. I started 6.45. From 9 o'clock my class will start from here. And I will take my breakfast now. And from 9 o'clock classes will start I have to do classes from 9 to 4 o'clock so let me tell you guys why I am here actually I am here for a three days cardiac MRI course so City University is uh, conducting a course on cardiac MRI three days short course and our company in health is sponsoring me so I'm doing this course free of cost they are sponsoring all the money for this course so I grabbed the chance and came for this course because I really have interest in doing cardiac MRI I do all kind of cases except cardiac MRI I have I have not done it I'm not trained in it too much so the chance came away and I grab it and finally I'll be attending the three days class here and hopefully after that I'll get my hands on doing cardiac MRI but there is a condition that you cannot resign from this post before two years so if you resign before two years, like depending on how many months after completion of the course you are resigning, you have to pay the money. Like if you resign after within the six months, you have to pay 100%. After six months, maybe 75%. Um, then one year, 50%. One and a half years, 25%. And if you resign after two years, then no need to pay any money. So this is the condition. But it's a good thing that here in UK, they are providing us uh, they're giving us a chance to do like this kind of courses which will really help our professional career you can grow in your career here in uk so it's a good thing about like it's a very good thing about uk that they encourage you to do this kind of courses this is one of the classroom where our classes will take place 
such nice king size sofas are there to take rest breakfast is done it's still 8:30 now another half an hour to start the class so i have to sit here wait half an hour for the class to start so this is the first topic of today's class cardiac mri physics So done with day one. Today is all classes finished. Uh, we have done some amazing the classes and also practical in software stimulator. And tomorrow is again. I have to come at nine thirty. So see you tomorrow, guys. Hello, guys. So it's the second day of my cardiac MRI course, and the classes will start from nine thirty. I have just reached now. So I'll try to show you guys as much as possible what I do today. So be connected. Cardiac MRI in myocardial infarction is the first class for today and the classroom is designed such a way this is the natural light it is in the ground floor the classroom is in the underground floor. And later in the video you will see glimpses of other classes as well. stuff if you do that well and you miss out the basic stuff do you well no one's going to be able to make a diagnosis all right so although there's some really complicated techniques in here um, this is all very nice uh, to present in powerpoint but of very limited use over and above just looking at your imaging is there any correlation with pathology data with i mean because sometimes we use a reference like what yeah is so there is here so in this case sorry in this case for instance you can see in, so we know it today about uh, CMR and how we can use this for assessment of bowel disease and some specifics about uh, flow imaging in cardiac MRI, these valve tracking algorithms which enable you to uh, actually track the, the, the motion of the valve and in each phase you can then contour the flow. So, so what you're alluding to is exactly what that is designed to do, um, but you can't, it's not really possible. So this is the campus of City University. I think this is one of the campus. They have another campus in other side as well. It's a nice natural campus. And you have a few seats there to sit. So you have few seats there to sit as well. So I have chosen this particular seat to have my lunch. So after lunch, this is the computer lab and this is actually a fake MRI console stimulator basically. So this is uh, like a scanner, but it's not a scanner. It's a software. You can uh, play around with everything like original scanner you have to start from scratch you will have the localizer you can plan it you can edit all the parameters you can take any sequence that you want you can play around it so that like it's sometimes not possible to do on real patient so with the help of this software you can learn how to plan your cardiac mri and it's a really good software it's like a real scanner but it's not a real scanner it's a virtual scanner where you can uh, learn how to plan how to play with your parameters um, a bit of an overview mainly the things that you're going to come across in in, in general uh, in mri rather than if you're working specifically in a contemporary heart center 
this is the last class for today cardiac MRI technique pitfalls and artifacts and this is really important topic as far as radiographers point of view and this class is actually taking place in the computer lab and you can also enjoy a nice natural outside view it's not possible to show each and every topic i try to show as much as possible so this is the end of the two days in person cardiac MRI course in city university london i'll have another class tomorrow online so now it's time to go back to rail station and then back to home also i want to let you know that why i did this one because i was having always interested to do cardiac mri but i could not get chance and here we i got the chance and the cost of the course is 1500 almost 1.5 to 1.6 like indian rupees and is sponsored by my company so i took let's grab the chance and here if i like if you don't do this kind of course in our hospital they are usually not giving the chance to do the cardiac mri so i thought why not i should i should do this course and then probably i'll get my hands on doing cardiac mri so that's the reason i chose to do this course so guys when you will come to uk to work in any profession just keep on searching for this kind of short courses which will help you to grow your professional career so this is the farrington station again i reached to my platform where my train will come so it's time to go back to home and that's all for today's video subscribe my channel and see you in the next video